so hello and welcome to codeflix so today we'll see how to solve html pages in node.js so basically we'll use node.js file server and also the pipe stream and read stream for solving html pages in the browser so let's see how to solve html pages in a browser <laughs> So we will open the node.js folder which we have created in the desktop Then we will open the app.js file So this is the code which we have written in our last video how to create a server So if you haven't catch that video then you can see it The link is below in the description So as I mentioned before We will use the file server of the node.js So we will include that here So where fs which stands for file server equals to require will require a module called fs which stands for file server and then we'll use it for readable and writable streams and also for piping so there are basically three types of streams available in node.js first is readable second is writable and third is duplex which is both readable and writable so Using that, we'll make our HTML pages to get served on the browser. So basically, uh, Node.js file server allows a system module to, for your computer to work with file system on your computer. So we'll create a variable here. Variable my read stream equals to, and then we'll use the fs variable which we required from the fs module and write fs dot create read stream so this will create a read stream for us and then we will give the path of the file the path where the file is located so for that we will use underscore underscore directory name which stands for dir name plus in quotes the name of the file which will give it later and then comma and the encoding style in quotes which will be utf8 so now here we have to give the name of the html file which we want to solve so now we will create the html file which we want to solve so we will go to file new file and then save it as index.html and save it then we will do some basic html I will give it a title called sample page then in the body I will give an h1 this is the page we want to serve and then I will end the h1 and then I will give a p tag we have used node.js for this and end the p tag and then I'll give some basic stylings here so I'll use the style tag end it here and then I'll give some styling to the body let's say we give some background color and that will be sky blue and then we can do is we can text align that will be center then I'll give some styling to the h1 tag let's say font size 52 pixels and let's say we'll give a color that will be white hashtag FFF the same thing to the p tag We will give the color that is white and also a font size which will be let's say 20 pixels. So that's it and we have created an HTML page which we want to serve on our browser. So we will save it and then go back to our app.js file then we will give your name with a slash index 
index.html so the directory name the name of the file which on which you want to serve and then the encoding style so as we mentioned here is the content type which we serve here so that is text plain so in the last video we served the hello world text which is a plain text but now we want to serve an html file so if you want to tell the browser that this is an html tag and it has to render just like html then we have to change here to html from plain for now we can comment this part because we don't need it here then we can do one thing use the my read stream and then we'll use dot pipe and then we'll give the response variable which we declared earlier to response it so what this will do the pipe will take the html request and then it will response it using the read stream to the browser and the browser will display the response so now we'll save it so now we'll run our app so we'll open the command prompt then we'll go to the location which is desktop and then the node.js folder then we'll run our app by giving node space app dot js so as you can see now the server is listening on port 3000 so we'll open our browser so now we'll type 127.0.0.1 colon 3000 which is the name of the local host or url of the local host and see here is the page which we wanted to serve this is the page we, which we want to serve this is the h1 and this is the p tag we have used node.js node for this so this is how we can serve html pages in node.js thanks for watching